Welcome home, man. This week with Sheriff Dave Phelan, a weekly program on LSN television and also carried on a number of our radio affiliates throughout Fairfield County and Central Ohio. I do appreciate you, the viewers and listeners that join us each and every week, and a special thanks to the uh, students here at Fairfield Christian Academy that put this program together and uh, do appreciate all the cards and letters and information we get uh, weekly about the program and we get a lot of great questions. This week's special guest is Lieutenant Tim Voris. Sheriff, how are you, sir? I'm doing good. Good to see you as good. always. Yes, sir. Good to see you. And uh, a veteran of the Sheriff's Office. What, uh, 25 years? 28 years. 28, 28 years. years. Wow. Yep. Just a few uh, just a few years there. Wow. <laughs> that's, a, that's a long time. Yeah. Be before we get started, I just want to remind everyone that uh, Fairfield Christian Church will be having a special uh, presentation. It's an adaptation of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Story. It's called The Gospel According to Scrooge, and that's going to be coming up December 7th, 8th, and 9th. That's December 7th, 8th, and 9th. That's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 7 p.m., and also on Sunday there'll be a 3 o'clock matinee. It's going to be a great program, and it's absolutely free, so if you want to kind of get the uh, Christmas season off to kind of a joyful start, uh, I, I do invite each and every one of you to attend. Plenty of seats, and again, it's free, and I know you're, you're going to be there. Right? I'm going to stop by. Now, I do have to ask you, Sheriff, you certainly uh, do not put us in the mind of somebody that would be Scrooge-ish. Well, you know, I, they actually had some auditions for that role, and, and they selected me based on my age, I think, more than, <laughs> more than any, any talents or yeah. anything. Yeah. But it's great. We've been practicing since August and um, had about 36 pages of, of dialogue to, to learn because Scrooge, Scrooge is in just about every scene. Yeah. And so uh, that, was, that was pretty challenging. I think the older you get, the harder it is to kind of memorize those kind well, of things. You've shared, you've really kind of enjoyed this part. I have, I, I, I really have. Uh, I can't think of uh, anything I've enjoyed more in recent years. It's just a great time and uh, I've met a lot of different folks. And it's not just Fairfield Christian Church that, that's putting it together, it's a lot of area churches that have come together to put this thing together. And again, uh, it's it's going to be a great night. Can you give us a couple of hints? Just share with us a little bit about. I am not going to put up with it, Lieutenant. <laughs> Putting <laughs> me on the spot. <laughs> Putting you on. The spot. That sounds great. That sounds like a screw. So. Well, we're we're working on it. That's for sure. <laughs> hey, lots of good things coming up. We know that uh, we're now into the um, Christmas season. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, I know we've got a lot of things to share. And. Coming up next week in Pickerington, at the Pickerington Senior Citizen Center, there's going to be a special training event, and the timing couldn't be better as we go into this uh, Christmas season. That's right, and what we wanted to do is present to the individuals in the, in the area, in the county, and if people that want to come and just kind of learn us about some safety things, uh, we will have it at the uh, Pickerington Senior Center, November 27th, and that will be at 6 p.m. to about 7.30. We're going to go about an hour and a half with some really good things. We, we're going to share with the kid, with the, the parents for their children, ten things they probably should be talking with their kids about, and uh, just kind of covering some of those things so that uh, everyone knows and understands the importance of safety and security in your area. We're going to talk about some home safety, and I know you're going to talk a uh, few things up there to make them aware of for the, the season also. Yeah, personal safety, and I think uh, Chief Mike Tussie from the Baltimore Police Department is going to be joining us talking about internet safety. Yeah, what a wealth of information. He came from Westerville. He's very good in the internet crimes and sex crimes as far as on the internet and stuff and does a great job as a resource helping us do that so he's going to talk a little bit about his experience and how we can try to help kids today and I'd ask our viewer, viewers or listeners if you're interested in attending that uh, you can just show up but if you will go ahead and make a reservation we'll make sure we have some training material ready for you when you arrive just call my administrative assistant Pam Renko at 740 652-7252. Again, that's 740 
652-7252. She'll make sure you have the training material. It's going to be a great night. It's going to be it's going to move very quickly. It'll be because impactful. There's yeah. there's going to be a lot of stuff we got to get covered. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, this this idea actually originated from the uh, Pickerington Chamber of Commerce yes. because they had a situation where there was a car that has been driving around. Um, uh, just acting suspicious around children and so I had a meeting with them and they said sheriff this might really be a good time to have some community training yes and so uh, I got with you and, and, and uh, you put together a great program and I think it's gonna be very impactful I do too and you know we've reached out to the neighborhoods in Pickerington the community watches the liaisons for those subdivisions and they're uh, showing a great interest and in, so we should have a good night good turnout that night now coming up uh, probably the uh, busiest time of the year not only for shoppers but for people that are thieves yes these opportunists and and i think people are many times preoccupied with with uh, uh shopping and uh not 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 always all the attention on uh, their surroundings and things like that yeah. so why don't we kind of go through some of the basics uh to have a safe holiday especially when you're shopping well, and out and about exactly and one of the things I think is most important is that do you have a plan do you have an idea of who you're going to go with where you're going to go and try to make those shopping trips during the day it certainly is a, a, a greater percentage that you're going to be out there and be safer during the day than you are at night when they're going to take an opportunity to do something if you're walking in the parking lot so we suggest you do go shopping during the day during the daylight hours if you have to make a late night trip, take a friend, take a relative with you so you have somebody with you. And that's an important part because by and large, people that are victims of, of crime are typically by themselves. And what we found if people are in groups, yes. I mean, you can go out if you have three or four people with you in a parking lot, the chances are very uh, remote that you're going to have a problem. But typically, these part people are going to be targeting people that are alone. So that's a great point. Go with friends. Exactly. And if it is night, park under a light. Park under a light in a lighted parking area. Remember where you parked at. Make a note or something like that so you know where your car is at. And, and don't try to show a lot of things. People all today like to wear a lot of jewelry, a lot of expensive purses. Uh, and, and just try to downsize yourself a little bit so you're not showing off what the jewelry and stuff you have because they're mindful. These guys are out here and girls are out here looking for things to take an opportunity in a crime with. So we suggest you just wear some nice leisurely clothes that, that's comforting, but you're not showing off some expensive items that you have while you're out shopping. Let me ask you this, Lieutenant. If someone would be leaving the store and they saw something suspicious, they saw an individual suspicious in the parking lot, what do you recommend they do? What? I suggest they contact their loss prevention or their security at the store. Okay. They ha most people have a phone with them, so call our sheriff's office. Let us know what's going on, what you see, whether you're in the city of Lancaster, you want to call the police department or the, or the sheriff's office if you're in the county, and we'll send a cruiser out to check that wh whatever it is that they've seen it was suspicious. And I, I know one, one situation, you were at the mall one time and seen some individuals carrying out some jeans or something from a store one time. and just be observant I mean yeah that was a few years ago actually Loretta and I were going to go to the mall and walk mm -hmm. and as we were walking uh, to the mall we noticed that there was um, three ladies and they had the trunk of their vehicle open and they were emptying bags of clothing into the trunk yeah and then they shut the trunk yeah. and then they took I saw them walking back with the bags well I'm thinking this doesn't look very good and so uh, uh, went in and watched them a little while and then they would load their bags up drop them in the trunk so uh, I went ahead and called the Lancaster Police Department because it was in, in the city gave them a description mm -hmm. they got the car stopped and there was thousands of dollars worth of clothes it was a professional theft ring and these people will be out targeting the malls during this time yes and and I think uh, really an important thing to to kind of keep in mind if you you know trust your instincts yes and if you are walking out you do see something that doesn't look right please just don't go on out into the parking lot go in let the clerk know again you mentioned loss prevention 
call us, let the police department know, let someone know, but just don't walk out there and get involved in something. Exactly. And, you know, as you're going out into the parking lots, we encourage you to keep your purses, keep things minimized. Only, you know, make sure you got your identification with you, your necessary credit cards and things, but keep them close to you. Oftentimes, people will leave their purses, their important stuff in that front part of their shopping cart while they're shopping, and they'll get distracted and look at something, and it's just enough time for somebody to walk by and take what's ever in your cart there off the front and walk on down the, the aisle way. Yeah, I mean, how many times have we seen that, like in, in uh, grocery stores in particular? Yes. Where, where people are distracted, they're shopping, um, and, and sometimes they'll even have a child in the cart. Exactly. And, yeah. and you know, a lot of things going on, a lot of things they're trying to deal with, and, and, and certainly that's a great point. Yeah. Many times they'll use a child as a decoy and put things in the cart. We found that out in several lost loss prevention and working with them that they'll disguise things and hide them in their cart to try to get out of the store with those kinds of thefts. So it's important you pay attention while you're out wherever it is you're going to be shopping at uh, this year and uh, think about a lot of different things that you're going to do. When you get those car when you get those items that you're going to purchase, you get them in your, your cart and you make it out to your car and you decide we're going to go back in and get a few more items we're going to go to another store. Put those items in your trunk. Make sure you secure them in your trunk so they can't be seen. Because oftentimes, individuals will walk around cars, they'll walk through the lot just to see what's available for them to take out of a car, including packages that you recently got for the holiday. And again, by and large, these people are opportunists. Yes. They're walking around the parking lots, they're walking through the, the uh, shopping areas, they, they look into cars. If they don't see anything in the car, they're probably going to move on until they see a package, computer, yes. you name it, in that car, and those are the cars they're going to target and, and break into. Exactly, and, and those are the type of crimes that we end up taking a report on later is those items have been taken out of a car or a purse was left in a, in a, in a cart, and uh, so we end up coming up and taking a report on it. Now, what about people that carry a lot of cash with them when they're going shopping? Well, I would suggest that uh, you take only what you need. Essentially, if you're going to have cash, you try to figure out a way that you keep that close to you, secured either in your pocket, in a wallet, in a small, something like a, a small purse that you keep with you that only has the essential things in it because the next step, if, if your credit cards are taken, then that's an entirely different set of things that you're going to have to do in contacting your bank and notifying your credit card company that you have had your credit card taken, but we don't recommend you take anything more than you need. And it's, it's not even a bad idea to, for, to carry out your wallet if you're a man in your front pocket, is it? No, not at all. And uh, make sure that if you're going to take your credit cards with you, document what those numbers are on a card at home. Right. Put them in a safe place so that, you know, oftentimes we, we take our credit cards, but we don't always know what those numbers are and remember them all. So we write them down so you have them so you can give that to those companies if your credit card is taken or being misused. Because today a lot of people are ordering things online. And, uh, you know, make sure that online purchases and stuff, you're, you're dealing with a credible source. And if you have a problem with your credit card online, make sure you're contacting the sheriff's office for a report or the attorney general's office. And certainly, as, as we talk about that, a lot of times people will get called solicitations on the phone where they're trying to get personal information. Yeah. Many times we get calls. I don't want to say many times, but oftentimes we get called. Hey, Sheriff, are you taking uh, donations from this company? People will be calling and say, we're right. taking money. For, for the canine. For, for the, the canine. Bulletproof vest for the deputies. Yeah, for the deputies or for whatever it is. And, and that often isn't the case. That doesn't happen. So we suggest that you make sure that you're credibly taking the, the calls that you're going to take and, uh, and work from there with those. Right, right. Yep. Well, this is uh, this week with Sheriff Dave Fallon. With us is Lieutenant Tim Forrest. And... Uh, we're, uh, we're coming a little bit close on time, but, but I, what I think I'd like to have you uh, come back next week and talk a little bit uh, again about uh, some, some personal safety that people need to do and maybe some things people would want to do if they're going to be taking a vacation during this uh, Christmas season Yes. and some things they may want to do to help protect their homes while they're gone in some ways we can assist them. Be more than glad to, Sheriff. So can you make it back next week? I sure will. Well, I do appreciate you being with us, Lieutenant uh, Tim Boris, a 25-year veteran of the Fairfield County Sheriff's Office. And just wanted to remind everyone once again that coming up December 7th, 8th, and 9th at Fairfield Christian Church, that's at the corner of Whittier and Columbus, we will be doing the presentation of Scrooge. It's an adaptation of... Um, 
uh, Dickens, A Christmas Story. follows the story pretty closely, but it does have, uh, instead of ghosts visiting, it's, it's angels visiting. So there, uh, there is a, um, uh, a Christian component to it. Uh, we've uh, been working on this since August. It's absolutely free. It's a family event. And uh, again, that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, December 7th, 8th, and 9th, starting at 7 p.m. Uh, those evenings. On Sunday, there will be a 3 o'clock matinee and uh, just a great event for the whole family. Well, I uh, do appreciate all the students here at Fair Fairfield Christian Academy that produce and put this program together each and every week. They do a terrific job, get a lot of nice comments about it, and it's, a, it's, it's done very, very well, and uh, do appreciate that. And certainly you, the viewers and listeners, and uh, as we kind of go through this uh, Christmas season, I hope all of you have a blessed Christmas. I hope you can join us uh, next week when Lieutenant Boris will join us again to talk about some ways to keep your home safe during this Christmas season. Well, if you're out there driving, buckle up. God bless, and we'll see you right here next week. prepared today, the more you'll be able to reduce the devastating effects of a tornado, an earthquake, a power outage, or any other disaster. Get a kit, make a plan, be informed. Visit ready.gov.